Now that we know the basics of testing, let me give you some recommendations. Whenever you run your tests, the operations your tests take are illustrated in the database, which means that if I run the test now, I will get products in my database. If I go to the products table, reload, you can see the two products. If I run this again, I should get two more. Now we have four. Imagine that you have 1000 tests and each test does some kind of operation. Your database will get full with dummy data from your tests. To avoid that, you can use the refresh database trait. This trait will reset your database after each test. This is very useful because data from previous tests will not interfere with subsequent tests. So let's use this. Okay, if I run the tests now, you can see that the table is empty. So no matter how many times you run this, the table is empty because the table goes back to its initial state. It resets. Up to now, we have been using MySQL database to run the tests. This is not a good practice. Instead, you have to separate your actual database, which is this one, from your testing database, which we do not have yet. Now, to do that, you can open phpunit.xml and you can add these two lines. This is going to use an in-memory database. However, if you run your tests again, you can see that they fail. Actually, one of them fails. This is because the price is expected to be integer and we are getting a string. To fix this, all you have to do is to open your product resource and cast the price to an integer. If I run this again now, they pass. In order to run one single test, you have a couple of options. If you do not know whether the test has a unique name or not, this is the name of the test, can create a product, this is another name. So if you do not know whether they are unique or not, you have to pass the class and then use the filter option and you pass the method name like this. So this is the full path to the class name. And then we can say filter, which is the option. And we give the name of the test. As you can see, this will run one single test and it's the test that we are filtering. Of course, I can do this for the other one. Same thing. In case you know that the name of the test is unique, you can omit the class and simply use filter with the method name, like this. Vendor bin PHP unit, filter, and the name of the test. As you can see, again, it works because this method name, this test name is unique. So you can do this for all of them and they all pass.